Hey guys, this is Reckless Visions, and today I have another unboxing video I wanted to show you. This is the Xbox One S 2TB Launch Edition. I was going to unbox it for you, tell you a few features that's new about it, and then I was going to compare it to the original Xbox One. I'm just going to flip it around and show you the sides. I apologize that it won't fit my camera frame, so I may have to turn it a little different. All right, let's get inside. I've already uh, cut the stickers, just the purpose of speeding up the video. You just got one here and one here. The first thing you're gonna see is this uh, demonstration of how to install the vertical stand it comes with. And then some of the setup features. Here's that vertical stand, and it just shows you a little image of how to put it together. Not sure if you can see that or not. And then we have a 14 day Xbox Live trial. Here we have the power cable. The HDMI cable. And then here's the new controller. And it does to come with two batteries. And then here's the console. This console is 40% smaller than the original. It has a 2 terabyte hard drive. Uh, it's able to play 4K Blu-ray video. You can stream 4K movies from uh, Netflix, Amazon. It also has HDR which is high dynamic range. What this does is it spans both contrast and colors. It makes the colors more bright and rich. They've eliminated the external power supply that the uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One had it is now internal so you don't have that big brick anymore we had the new IR blaster what this does is allows you to configure your Xbox to turn on uh, devices such as uh, TV and cable receivers it has HDMI 2.0 
Blu-ray 4.0 and they've also added uh, the support for dual band AC Wi-Fi before you be able to use those 4K features in HDR, you'd obviously have to have a TV that supports 4K and HDR10 before it would work. Here's the new controller. It has the texture grip on the back. I'm not sure if I'll be able to capture that on camera. But it has texture grips here and here. And then it also has the Bluetooth 4.0. What that's going to do is allow you to be able to use your controller with your PC and it's also going to extend the range that it would have and they've added a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so you can use your headphones while you play or anything like that you have and here's what all you're going to find in the box the console this is a warranty guide that 14 day trial the setup instructions the power cord HDMI cable controller comes with two Duracell batteries and then you have this vertical stand. Some main changes to the case. The original Xbox One had the touch buttons and now they've added physical push buttons for the power and disc tray eject. And they've also moved the USB that was on the side to the front on the new Xbox One S. One more change is they have removed the connect sensor adapter. So what you'll have to do is buy an extra adapter now that's going to plug into your USB and then you would plug it into the wall for power and then you would plug your connect into that adapter and that's how you would be able to use your connect on the new Xbox. But one of the good things is if you have already bought original Xbox One and the Xbox One connect and then you have your Xbox One S. You, there's a website you can go to on Microsoft where you can type in the serial number for all three devices and then they will mail you a free adapter. Otherwise it will cost around $40 I believe. Here's one more comparison of the Xbox on top of the original. <clears throat> Just comparing the size difference. And then I was going to show you how to put that vertical stand on real quick. Basically you just got these uh, two tabs here, it's got arrows pointing and it also has that little uh, image showing you how to do it. And you would go to the bottom here and put those two clips in here. Have it facing this way. And you just push it down. And that's how you put it on. That's pretty much all I had to say. Thanks for watching. Wild stone, two damn phones, Babylon's can't crack the coat. Used to sip out stop real pump, but figured I should stick to drop. Backwoods overload, don't like to smoke them switch.